What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the best Pokemon for this format, which is Gliscor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. Anybody who views the videos, anybody who likes them up, and all the subscribers to the channel really does help me grow as a content creator. But like I said, today we are rocking out with this amazing Gliscor team and trying to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential, considering it is hands down one of the best Pokemon in this format. But let's get started here with the team preview. We have Gliscor getting started here with that Toxic Orb over here. Jolly Nature, and more importantly, Toxic Orb pair as well with the Poison Heal ability. So every time we're poisoned, instead of losing health, Health, we regain health so we're constantly just regaining health with this pokemon this thing's evs has hp and defense this thing is an absolute bulk with a little bit in speed as well that's why hp isn't maxed out and defense isn't maxed out either because we pulled a little bit over to speed but the premise of this pokemon here is to set up with sword stance kind of keep its uh, hp with its poison heal and roost and just roll out from there it is a bulky sweeper that's why we have hp defense and sword stance as a setup move we also have eq for stab roost to get some hp back and facade because facade is amazing when you are poisoned burned or paralyzed Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Heatran over here. This thing's holding the Shuka Berry as its item with this awesome normal move set that I use that I usually like to rock out with Heatran, which is Flash Cannon for Stab, Heat Wave for Stab, Taunt to Taunt, Opposing Support Mods, and Protect. This thing's EVs, is HP, and Special Attack with a tad bit in speed. Just a, just a little bit in speed. Just a little bit. Nature is modest, just so it gets that special attack boost and it can hit even harder. Third Pokemon on the squad is Breloom over here. And you guys seen my first video. Well, if you guys see my first video, you guys know Breloom is an absolute beast. And we use that thing with Poison Heal, but this time we're doing something a little bit different. We got the Adamant Nature on this thing to get that attack boost. EVs are going to be attack and speed with the Technician ability this time. So it power ups uh, weaker Pokemon moves. So we gave this thing weak Pokemon moves. We got Spore for Sleep, Mach Punch for first turn priority, and it's going to hit like a truck with the Technician ability. Bullet Seed, which is now going to hit like a truck with Technician ability, and Sword Stance is set up with this Pokemon. Very, very possible to set up with this Pokemon. Once you do, it is going to be crazy because, it, because then it can put people to sleep. It can have first turn priority. It can hit like an absolute truck. It is just amazing all around. Gotta love this Pokemon. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weavile. Weavile is here for Fake Out Flinches and Speed Control. It's got Fake Out, Ice Punch, Icy Wind, and Night Slash. Two stab moves, two controlling speed and flinching moves. Gotta love this Pokemon all around. I think it's an absolute beast. The item that this thing is actually holding is the, uh, what is it? The Black Belt? I think that's what it's called, right? Is there a way I can see it? Where's my item at? Where's my item at? It is holding the... The Expert Belt, that's what it is. The Expert Belt over here, Breloom has the Focus Sash. Usually I like to give Weavile Focus Sash, but in this case, we are actually rocking out with the Expert Belt on this thing because I want Breloom to have the Focus Sash. I want Breloom to have it, not Weavile. So we give this thing Expert Belt, so super effective damage. We'll do a little bit more. We got Pressure Ability, Jolly Nature, and then Attack and Speed EVs for this Pokemon. Next Pokemon on squad is Gyarados over here. Gave this thing Jolly Nature. This thing's just here for a bulky, or not bulky, just a big physical attacker. Attack and speed as its EVs, Intimidate ability, and then great move set of Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up, and Protect as its final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is Clefable over here. Clefable kind of gels everybody together here. We got Follow Me, Moonblast, Calm Mind, and Safeguard to protect us from all those status conditions. This thing is super, super bulky with its EVs and HP, defense and special defense with that unaware ability and then finally its nature is going to be bold just to make it a little bit more bulkier but the reason i say this thing is going to gel the team together is because it has follow me and it's super bulky we have a lot of pokemon that can set up with sword dance or dragon dance so just having a pokemon like this to protect those pokemon while they set up is phenomenal guys if you want to try out the team for yourself we got the Poke Base down in the description below. I know a lot of you guys asked for that. All the EVs, all the moveset, everything is down there if you guys want to go check it out. But without further ado, let's hop into some double battles. Look to get some wins with this amazing Gliscor team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video. And I know in the team preview, I did not go over all the items because... Quite frankly, I forgot. Gyarados has Life Orb and Clefable has the Leftovers. Those are the two items that I did not say, but we're locking in this Gliscor team. Let's see what kind of team we're going up if, up against in battle number one. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win. And this team's looking pretty cool. He's got Hitmon Top, Metagross, Clear Body, gotta remember that. He's got the Raikou, the Rotom Heat, Uxi, and Tyranitar. Okay, so he has Intimidate on that Hitmon Top, so I gotta watch out for that. Could definitely be deadly for us. Um, I think going into lovely little Gliscor turn one could be good. But mm, is he really going to go into that Intimidate turn one? That could be a possibility. It could definitely be a possibility. But I think we might go Weavile here. We could definitely go Weavile. 
Or do I go Fable for turn one? I'm liking Weavile here. We're going to lock in Weavile. I think Gyarados is a must coming the back end. Just in case Tyranitar wants to play and all that good stuff. We can have a nice big old physical attacker with Intimidate back there as well. So that can work well. And then final Pokemon for the squad. Do we go in with Fable? I mean, Fable could be a nice little follow me Pokemon late game. Heatran could be good here as well. Does some work up against a few of these Pokemon. Or Breloom could be pretty nasty. I do like Breloom. I think I am going to bring Breloom in that back end just to be able to spore, kind of get off work like that. Or I could actually lead Breloom. I couldn't lead Breloom. I mean, say he leads him on top. No, we need the, we need to lead the Weavile. Just in case he leads him on top, it's definitely our play. Because Weavile outspeeds the uh, him on top. We can fake out and potentially set up a Swords Dance with Gliscor. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see who he leads. But I can definitely see the him on top coming in here turn one. This is why I would love to have like a competitive mod on this. Him on top and Metagross are both their turn one mods. And I'm cool with that. I am cool with that all day. So in this case, I think we just fake out the him on top and potentially set up a... Uh, do we set up a Swords Dance here? Could be our play. Could be our play. He could protect the Metagross because we could be going into a lo nice, lovely EQ. But, hmm. What's the play? Swords Dance? I think Swords Dance is 100% the play. Fake out. Or we can just Night Slash. We could just Night Slash, but I have to pose this threat on the hit on top by faking it out, right? I have to fake out this hit on top. Do we think he might just swap the hit on top, knowing that my Weavile is faster? And we could just Night Slash or Icy Wind, something along those lines. Mm. Now let's go for the fake out. Let's just go for the smart play. Let's play this one slow. But I do think he might swap the hit on top. Let's see what he does. Nope. But good thing we did uh we did choose to go into that fake out. Love the little turn there. Metagross is gonna go for a what? What is Metagross going for? That's the real question. We get a sword stance set up here. We are plus one now because we were minus one from the intimidate. And Metagross is much as go for it. Yeah, I was gonna say a meteor mash over on the Weavile, which is fine. Which is fine. Weavile is gonna drop this turn. I'm pretty cool with that one. We drop into an intimidate with our uh Gyarados, and we kind of just start getting after these Pokemon. We have Poison Hill rolling. And my top does have a little bit of speed on him, but we are defensive bulk here. I could go into you. You're pretty good here, but I just think coming out with this Intimidate and dropping a Waterfall on the Metagross alongside with uh, EQ's plus one could be pretty good. It's not going to hit too hard, but we are super, super bulky, so that really benefits our Glide score. Attack's going to drop here. Clear Body's going to come out here. We knew we had Clear Body, which is all good. So in this case, we're just going to drop this heavy EQ. Probably not going to take out the Metagross, so I do want to double down into it. Or do I go after Hitmon Top? Because Hitmon Top could be scary. Hitmon Top could be scary, and I think I'm just going to go after Hitmon Top here. This thing is rocking close combat, and we really don't want to take at, like two of them. We can definitely eat up one, but two of them are scary. Two of them are definitely scary. So we're going to pop out with here. We still have our technician, focus sash, Breloom in the back. Four spores. Could work out really well. That's why that focus sash is on. I think can't be one tap. We could potentially get off a big spore later in the match. But we'll see how this one plays out. He does have Uxie. He does have Levitate. So I could see a swap maybe into Uxie on one of these Pokemon. So we'll see. We shall see what he does. But we're sitting in a solid spot. We are sitting in a solid spot. I like the Swords Dance to plus one. I think he does swap the Hitmon top here. Or he just goes into a close combat. But I think he's going to want that Intimidate for later in the match. Yep, there's the Hitmon top swap. And is it going to be Uxie? He definitely sees Uxie coming out here. He's going to set out Raikou. Maybe Shuka Buried. Might be Shuka Buried. And Metagross is going to protect. So we're doubling down into that uh, that Raikou slot. Which is really, really good for us. Really, really good for us. Waterfall is going to pop. Yeah, right. Getting off some damage. And EQ should be able to clean this one up. Even with the Shuka Buried, right? Even with the Shuka Berry. I believe it will. I believe it will. Metagross protects itself. Doesn't affect Gyarados. And this thing does have the Shuka Berry. But I think it does take it out, right? Let's see. Make it happen. Yes, sir. Okay. Raikou out of the game. That's a huge KO. And he's going to go back right back out and hit him on top. He's going to go right back out and hit him on top. And in this case, uh, what do I do? I think I just EQ and Waterfall again. But this time, did we double down in the Metagross slot? I mean, he does have Fake Out ready to roll. He does have fake out ready to roll. Intimidate's gonna do us a little dirty. I could uh I could go into an EQ. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Where do I go for Swords Dance here? I'm gonna go for Swords Dance, try to boost my attack yet again. And maybe just go into a uh protect onto the Gyarados. Do we think he's gonna double down into Glide Score? Hmm. Because we know fake out's to play and then he's gonna come after somebody, but who does he come after? I think we protect this thing. We are super bulky onto the Glide Score. And he might fake out my Gyarados. Gyarados protects. Let's see, yo. Fake out my Gyarados. Please. Please. No. <laughs> Fake out comes out there. And what's Metagross going to do? Zen Headbutt. Which Glasgow just dodges. So, dude, we should have set up a Dragon Dance. We should have set up a Dragon Dance. That, that was definitely a play. 
But in this case, I think I set up another sword stance. And what do we do here? Just waterfall on the hip on top. I'm liking the waterfall into the hip on top slot. Because we're bulky. We're super bulky. I could swap the uh, the Gyarados, but I just don't think that's the play. He's going to withdraw the hit on top. He's going for the Intimidates. This is fine. He's going to go and show his final Pokemon, which is Uxie. We're not going for a... Uh... Is he going to protect here? He could. No, he doesn't. But we're not going for an EQ. So that's a nice little turn there. Waterfall's going to do a little bit of chip damage. Life Orb's going to soak up away. And Sword Dance is going to set up. So we're going for a Sword Dance here. Um, I could double down into Metagross, but I do not think that's the play. I think Metagross might protect next turn. Uxie is levitated. And this thing is just going to go for Zen, Zen Headbutt and the Gliscor. This Gliscor should be fine soaking up. Defensive bulk, like I said. Just an absolute bulk. Just an absolute bulk. Okay, so we're sitting here. He might go back out and hit him on top. And I'm just going to target down that Uxie slot. I just think that's the play. I think we just go into a facade here. And we double down in that slot. Because Metagross could protect. Could protect thinking we're going for an EQ with this plus two. Yo, solid battle so far. What a battle. What a great battle here. Metagross does protect, yo. The reeds, baby. The reeds all day. All day. Uxie's going to go for a psychic. That should be soaking up by the Gliscor, right? And Gliscor and this, wa this waterfall and facade should be able to pick up the KO. Waterfall pokes out here. Yo, oh, I don't know, dude. This thing's bulky. This thing's super bulky. I could Roost next turn. Roost could be good for us. Facade's going to come out here. Oh, my God. This thing lives on one. What you mean? What you mean? He gets a free sash. He gets a free sash. Poison Heal is going to pop. Poison Heal is going to pop. And I think we just roost this turn, right? I think we just roost overall. And then we just waterfall and we take out Uxie. Oh my lord. No way. No way. Thing lives all 1 HP. It's so bulky. Uxie, Mesprint, and Azelf are really great Pokemon. Really great Pokemon all around. But yo, what a solid first battle. He's going to protect here. I'm kind of fine with that. Because, again, we should be able to eat up whatever Metagross wants to throw at us. And this Roost is going to come out, which is great. And I don't think he knows we have Roost. Look at this. Look at this. Give me my HP back. <laughs> Give me my HP back. Bulky Gliascore. Loving this set on this Gliascore. Love it. Then Headbutt's going to poke. We soak that up, and Poison Heal is just going to basically bring us back to life. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, what's his play here? This At this point, we just EQ and Waterfall. 100% our play. EQ and Waterfall is 100% out of play. We are plus two still. EQ come out here. Bulky sweeper setup. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. So he might go back out and hit him on top, which I don't mind. I don't mind if he goes back out and hit him on top. Gliscor is showing here. Our only threat really here is going to be that, that Uxie. That Uxie's our only really threat, and I, and I think we get rid of it at this turn. Because both my Pokemon outspeed the Metagross, and Uxie cannot one-tap us. So I, I'm, I'm seeing the swap here, right? I'm thinking the swap's gonna come out here. We do have our uh, Mock Punch Technician Relume in the back with a Focus Ash, which is just absolutely lovely. So we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. But yo, what a first battle. What a first battle. Long drawn out. Like, this is what you guys come to see. This is what you guys come to see here. He's gonna withdraw the Uxie, like I said. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Intimidate's gonna bring us to plus one, because we still are plus two. And then he does have a fake out opportunity here. And does he protect the Metagross here? I hope not. I hope not. Intimidate actually brings my Gyarados down to uh, two. And Metagross is just going to protect. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because we're doubling down this hit on top. I don't think we pick up the KO. But Waterfall is going to be able to poke. Get a little bit of damage here. And what do we do with the Gliscor here? We could, drag we could Dragon Dance this turn. We could Dragon Dance this turn. What do we want to do? EQ comes out here, slowly chipping away, dude. Slowly chipping away, dude. The Intimidate's doing a sturdy. This thing is actually holding a berry. I think it's Citrus, right? Lovely little Citrus. And we could D-Dance up. We could D-Dance up. Poison Heal's going to give us some more HP here. And, uh, do I D-Dance? Do I D-Dance? I think I'm going to Swords Dance and, uh, and D-Dance as well. I'm going to do that. But I think he just fakes out the Glide Score, right? I think he just fakes out the Glide Score. He might swap into the Uxie here. No, but she's going to go fake out onto the score. We're setting up a D-Dance. And is he going for a Zen Headbutt? We might. I don't know. I don't know. We bring our attack to minus one. Because we're minus two from all the Intimidates. And we are going to bring our speed up, which is phenomenal. Glyscore flinches. And this thing's just going to go for a Zen Headbutt. Is that in the Glyscore again? I don't mind it one bit. Glyscore soaks, man. He soaks! This thing's a tank. This thing is an absolute tank. All right, in this case, I think EQ is to play. We could roost next turn if we want to. Or do we roost this turn? I think EQ is to play, right? 
I could Dragon Dance again, thinking he's going to swap him on top one more time. But I'm fine with getting all this HP back. Fine with getting all this HP back. But yo, this is why we built Gliscor this way. Super bulky. You can get some Sword Dance set up. You're going to be thriving well. But Waterfall is going to poke here. And EQ will come through and finish up that thing, which is lovely. Actually, we're not going for EQ. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. I totally forgot. Why well, did I think I was going for Roost? But EQ was definitely a great call. Deal some mean damage over on the Hitmon top slot. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Because Uxie is going to come out here. It's kind of low on HP. I know I should just like tackle into it. So that headbutt's going to come in. And we eat. And I think Uxie can take out my Gliscord in one shot. And maybe Gyarados can outspeed here with that plus one. And we could hope that a Waterfall can KO. Because that could be huge. That could be huge. Uxie could protect. Oh yeah, Waterfall will definitely KO that thing. So I think we just go for a Roost and we pretty much just like take this battle, right? Because Gyarados should outspeed with this plus one. Could be lovely. We Roost up. We take out the Uxie. If he protects, he protects. We still get the heal up. And we just do that next turn because Metagross isn't one tapping anything out here. We are thriving, yo. This team, this team, phenomenal, phenomenal. Loving the glass going, but yo, solid battle. Like, this is this is a great battle. This is why I play this game. For battles like this. For battles like this. Waterfall pokes through. Later, Uxie. Get him on out of here. And beautiful. We get the show off glass score. Who's fullest potential in bound number one? Like, this is exactly how I want to play this glass score. Set. This is exactly how I want to get the sword stance, be bulky. Nobody can take us out. We roost up when we need to. We got the poison heal as well. And then we can do some big damage all around with EQs and facades. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And th is this like choice? No, it's not choice, but I just feel like all of its other moves are kind of like awful against us. But Poison is going to poke, and that's GG's. That is GG's. This guy should just cancel battle. EQ is going to come through, and we are just going to waterfall on top of that. But again, I see this dude canceling. It's over with. Battle was canceled. 1 and 0 to get this video started. What a first battle. Got the show of Gliscor to his fullest potential and go up against a very good opponent and have a great battle all around. But we ended up picking up that win, sitting at 1-0, hopping into battle number two. Let's see what this guy is cooking with. And oh, ooh, he's only rocking with four. So we know what Pokemon he's bringing. We know exactly what Pokemon he's bringing. Let's see if we get after this one. Um, the Weavile is a great lead. He does have the Intimidate on the Arcanine. And he could go into Rain Squad. Breloom, pretty good here. Breloom is pretty good here. So I am going to rock out with Breloom, I think, turn one. I think turn one, Breloom is just great all around. We could also go into Heatran, just in case he wants to bring that out. What's it called? Actually, we could go into Intimidate. I think we go into these two, just kind of get rolling with the squad. Um, who else should I bring in the back? Fable's not bad. Fable can kind of come in here, but I feel like Pokemon like Gliscor and Heatran are probably not going to come in here. Even though Heatran's pretty good up against that Tokus, we might want to bring it, but I just think Weavile can actually do some work and Fable can kind of come in here and be a soak to a lot of these guys. So do I want to lead these two? I kind of do. If Intimidate comes out, Intimidate comes out. Even though we have two physical attackers, I just think it's fine. I just think it's fine. I think Clash and Heatran ride the pine here. I think they ride the pine because, you know, it's just it's just not looking good for them. It's just not looking good for them, especially with a special attacker like Ludicolo and Politoed. And who they actually lead. Who they actually lead. So I'm with this all day. We can go into Bullet Seeds. We can roll into some strong moves here. Swift Swim is going to pop out though. Swift Swim is going to pop out here. He does have Ice Beam. We are Focus Dash. So I think in this case, we just put the Breloom to sleep. Or not the Breloom. The, uh, the Ludi Cole to sleep. Actually, he's Grass type. So we cannot. We cannot do that. We cannot do that. Drizzle is going to pop. And hmm. Could set up a Dragon Dance. Could set up a Dragon Dance. I could Swords Dance as well. But Spore could be the play. But I think Polytoad might protect or swap. I could see a swap come out from Polytoad, so I might just want to go into the sleep onto the slot and Dragon Dance up. That's going to be my play. Ludicolo is going to rock out with Fake Out, and is an Ice Beam going to come out here? I totally forgot that thing learns Fake Out. That's on me. I don't think this thing's rocking Ice Beam, but more importantly, we get off this Dragon Dance. I could Mach Punch next turn because I do think the Ice is just going to come out here next turn. Maybe try to take out my Breloom. We'll see what this thing goes for. This thing's going to go for an Ice Beam. Yep, he's doubling down, and Breloom actually might be able to eat that out. Yep, Breloom does eat that up, which is wonderful. So I could swap if I want to. Or I could go into a Bold Seed. Uh, what do I want to do? Could definitely swap. Could definitely swap and go into Weavile here. I could go into Fable. Fable could be nice here. Special Bulk. I do like that. I do like that. And then saving him for the back. Waterfall could pop. I think Waterfall would do a little bit more damage than, uh, than the Ice Fang. Because it is in the rain. It's Stab. We are plus one on Dragon Ant. So I really do like where we're sitting here. I could have just mock punch into Ludicolo, but I think saving our Breloom for the back because it does outspeed when Rain's gone. And we do have mock punch, which might come in clutch. 
but that's why I was really contemplating its moveset of either going Sword Dance or Protect. So maybe I should swap it out for Protect. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? We do have the Focus Ash, which is good, but like when there's fake out chances, like they're obviously going to fake out the Breed. And like a Protect would have been so clutch there. We could have kept the Focus Ash. We could have been at full health. It, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. Reloom swaps. We're going to get out our special defense bulk over here, which is the Fable. It's the lovely little Fable here. Love his Pokemon. Love his Pokemon. He's going to Witch all the Polytoad. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with him with all the Polytoad. And is Arcanine going to come out here? No, it's going to be Togekiss. It's going to be lovely Togekiss over here. Togekiss can just go for Follow Me. It can kind of just like bulk up some shots here. And Ludicolo is going to use an Ice Beam into Fable, right? Yep, all day. Yo, that's a soak. That's a big soak. Mmm, what you mean? Ah! Uh, we don't like that one bit. It's a freeze, dude. Oh my god, I never get freezes. You have a waterfall here. Get off some nice damage. That's so whack. That is so whack. It's a freeze. He gets a freeze. Get out of my face. Air Slash could definitely fly through here. Hopefully we unthaw. I could protect. Which I am going to do. I'm going to protect and potentially calm mine here. That is going to be my play. I'm going to protect just so we can get it off another turn of maybe trying to thaw out if we don't. Yeah, it just protects. I could see an Air Slash poking through here. And Ludicolo is going to go for a Giga Drain. We get the block. It's going to double down. I can definitely see a double down happening. It's going to Gleam. And that's an easy soak up for Fable. And I need Fable to kind of just like, you know, what's it called? Wait, fall out. There you go. Falls out there. We get a nice little combine here. So we're special defense boosted here. I think I can just go for Follow Me's and kind of just like start hitting up on these Pokemon. Right? Is that the play? Big old special defense boost. And I could go for that. I mean, we soak up, I think, a Giga Drain easily. I mean, it's going to end very, very soon. Could go for Moonblast, but I just think Follow Me is going to be the play here. Follow me and going into a nice lovely waterfall here. I mean, oh, we could Ice Fang. Let's Ice Fang. Let's Ice Fang. Tokit's going to be pain. And he goes for the follow me, so Ice Fang was a great call here. We're going to go for follow me as well. We are going to be able to soak up some shots. Soak up some shots, baby. Fable coming in hot. I do like Fable. I do like Fable. And it is a nice little change of pace off of uh, off of Tokus. He goes for the pump. Can we eat that pump? I think we should be able to. Yes, sir. Calm mind helping us out. Life Orb is going to chip away some damage. And I think Rain does end soon. And he might bring out Polytoad just for that case. Ice Fang comes in here. Cleans up the Togekiss. Cleans up the Togekiss. And in this case, we just follow me out until uh, the Fable dies. And then we just go into a Mach Punch with our uh, Breedling. And then we have that Weavile in the back. Who, who I really like. Who I really like. Weavile learns Night Slash. It hits pretty hard. It has Fake Out and Control a little bit. And Gyarados is looking pretty good here. I do like the Gyarados. I do like the Gyarados. So that Calm Mind was a great play. We were able to soak up a Hydro Pump, and I think this extra turn is really going to benefit us out in this battle. He has Polythoad, and we know he has Arcanine in the back. Arcanine is going to be his final mod. Um, in this case, we just go into, like I said, Waterfalls and Mach Punch. Should be able to clean up everything. So Follow Me is going to pop. And did we just Dragon Dance again? We could Dragon Dance again. I mean, Rain ends, and then we have Speed. I just find could come out here. But I think we just take advantage of this. We could Dragon Dance. Like I said, we could Dragon Dance here. I'm thinking Dragon Dance is a play. I think a Dragon Dance is 100% to play. He just cancels battle. There it is. GG's 2 and 0. Oh, let's get it. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a heavy drought team. Heavy drought team here, so you know we're bringing our boy Flash Fire Heatran. Gonna work out really well. He has a Chlorophyll Vile Plume, and then the rest are just big old bulky boys like these guys are here to play these guys are here to play i think we might just lead the heat trend i think intimidate garters could come out here and be pretty well or we could go weavile weavile can pose that threat on that ground on who he might lead so i might go here and here as my lead i just think that's a solid lead i kind of want to bring breloom like not even gonna lie i kind of want to bring breloom because we haven't really showed off the breloom but you guys kind of already know what breloom does you guys kind of already know what breloom does i think garters is an absolute must coming out here and then I mean, Breloom kind of stinks here, but I just want to bring it. Or do we bring Gliascore? Let's bring Gliascore. Let's bring Gliascore here. I do like Gliascore. I could actually lead the Gliascore, but I just feel like having the Heatran is going to be really good for us. Right? Having the Heatran can be really good for us. So let's go in with these two. Lock it in. Finish it up this uh, video. And try to get ourselves a perfect record. We've been buzzing on the uh, double ladder for BDSB. It's been a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. He goes Groudon into Victory Bell. So this thing is going to be Chlorophyll. And I should have led my what's it called. I 100% should have led my what's it called. I should have led my. Uh, should have led my what's it called. My uh, Clefable. 
Oh, we can go for a fake out here. And, oh, do I even go for a fake out? I just want to go for an ice punch here. And just go into a heat wave. That's going to be my play. Heat wave and ice punch. Maybe he thinks I'm uh, faking out and he might protect that victory bell. But I think victory bell might lure chlorophyll and double its speed here. And I could go for sleep powders, which is tough. And I should have brought my fable because we do have safeguard on it. And he does protect. Oh, no, he protects you. Is he going to double protect? See if he's play. No, but just go straight for a sleep powder here. He's going to put you to sleep. So what a turn by him. This dude is off to a strong start. A very strong start. Very, very strong start. This Groudon could just go in the ground moves. We could swap here. And I think I am going to swap my Heatran. I think swapping the Heatran is going to be the play here. And we kind of just Ice Punch over here. Hmm. That's my play. Swapping the Groudon. Or not, not Groudon. Gyarados. Just so we get Intimidate and the ground move isn't going to hit us. Because I can swear this thing always... Oh, yeah, he ends up swapping him, yo. Smart little plays here. Smart little plays. I think on the Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat's going to poke. We're going to go into uh, Gyarados. This is tough. This is real tough. He's just put me to sleep left and right. He's just put me to sleep left and right. We don't like that one. Bit. We do not like that. We should have faked him out and just dumped on him. 100% should have been my play. We're just going to go for a Weather Ball here. That's going to take out Weavile, no problem. Like, Weavile is gone. Weavile is gone. Hands down. He just dumped on him. He just got absolutely murked. He got murked on him. So now we have special attackers out here. I could protect the Gyarados because he does have a Thunder move. But I got to bring out Goliath. Gotta bring out Glyscore. Got to bring out the Glyscores. Glyscore, what's goody, buddy? Glyscore, we could drop an EQ, but again, let's levitate it. Uh, could roost this turn. I think we just Sword Sands to get my bulkness up. I wish I had, like, Protect or something. It could be really good for us, but I think we just drop an Ice Fang. Let's see what it does. We go for a Solar Beam. Uh-oh. 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 We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Can he soak this up? I don't think he's gonna be able to soak that up. Oh, it's Gyarados. Gyarados will be able to soak that up. Gyarados soaks that one up. And is he going for maybe a Nancy plot? Just see what that, what the, what's called going for. You can see what that Rotom's going for. But a big Ice Fang comes out here. That's huge. That's a huge turn for us. And what is Rotom going for? That's my question. What is Rotom going for? Here? Rotom might be going for a plot. It could definitely be going for a plot. We might bring back out Groudon. Let's see. He's just going to go straight for a will o into my Gyarados. Which is fine. Gyarados is going to go down next turn. It has one hit left. So we might want to double down into this Rotom. Just so he doesn't... I mean, he can't throw a burn on my Glasgow anymore. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Because we are poisoned now. We are lovely poisoned. We are awesome. It's lovely. It's dope. Let's see how this one plays out. Dude, he came off to a strong start. If we would have just faked out in Heat Wave. But I over... I over... Uh, I went with the overthinking that turn. I totally overthink it. We are bulked up. I can go for a free EQ, which I might do, or should I facade? Or should I facade? EQ could definitely be our play. EQ could definitely be our play. And we'll go for here. I'm with this all day. Let's see how this guy plays this one. Hopefully, it doesn't protect the Houndoom. Hopefully, the Houndoom doesn't get the protect. Just go straight for a Dark Pulse. That's fine. He's going to take out my Gyarados. And we are going to be able to drop a heavy EQ. Which, Levitate's going to dodge it, but I think we might take out this Houndoom here. Be lovely. Let's levitate it. Houndoom, we go down to this. Please, restore his dance. Yes, sir. Yo, Glasgow coming in big. Glasgow coming in big, and I can see an overheat coming out here, and that could be scary for us. That could definitely be scary for us. Is he going for an overheat? He does go for an overheat. Soak this up, Glasgow. Soak it up all day, baby. We soak up. We do have speed. We do have speed. He has ground on left, which we can just go into a lovely little EQ onto that thing. Deal some big damage, and we do have Heatran left. So what's our player? Again, we do have speed, so I might roost. I might Roost. I think Roost is going to be the play. Actually, do we outspeed a Groudon? That's the real question. That's the real question. Do we outspeed a Groudon? We have to go for the Roost. We have to go for the Roost. I think we just Heat Wave in this Heat. Get off some damage. Let's see how this one plays out. Last year's going to Roost. We do have speed. We do have speed. And that thing's a physical attacker. Rotom is minus two. Roost is coming out. Roost is looking lovely. EQ is going to pop here. Levitate's popping. We have our Shuka Berry, which is great. Hopefully, we can wake up this next turn. The Tran's going to be able to eat. And, oh, that hits... Wait, why is that hitting Gliscor? Did that just hit Gliscor? Did that just hit Gliscor? Wait a minute. I'm a little confused. Did that just hit Gliscor? That might have hit Glyscore, and I'm kind of upset with that. 
Or did I see something wrong? Did I see something wrong? We're gonna do this again. We're gonna protect this uh Heatran. See if he can wake up and maybe get a block off. He's slumped, he's dead. Dude, did that just hit Guy Score? I'm I'm kinda confused. But if that did, we don't we don't like that one bit. But if that did, we don't like that one bit. Let's see how this one plays out here. He has minus four now. EQ's gonna come out here. Levitate pops here. And what? Aren't we flying? Aren't we flying? What typing is this? Bro, I could have swore Gliscor is flying. This thing's just overheating on me. He is minus a bunch now. Poison Neal is going to pop here. And oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. I got to see something. I got to see something. Could have sworn this thing's flying. It gets hit by EQs? Is that because it's part ground type? What is this? What is this? Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. Somebody let me know, but yeah, we roosting again. We should keep roosting up. Roost is gonna be our play. Roost, 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 roost. That thing is now, what is he, minus six? We get some mean HP back. He's just gonna go for a fire move. He's just gonna go for stone edge. That's something that's scary. That's actually easy eats. It's actually easy eats over. He's gonna come out here, and now we can go for an attack move. Next shot. Next shot, we can easily go for an attack move. Poison Neal's flying. But yo, why is that EQ hit me? I don't understand. He quit the battle. Get him out of here, yo. Get this guy out my game, yo. What a third and final battle. This dude was just like, oh, this class here is going to run me. Quits the battle, and we get ourselves a perfect record. Ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly why Gliscor is one of the best Pokemon in this meta. It is absolutely amazing. This bulky sweeper build, I think, is one of the best for it. We got to show it off to its fullest potential in battle number one and battle number three. Granted, the dude quit in battle number three, but we were rolling out strong, and I think Gliscor was there to soak up some damage, clutch up, and just slow play it for the win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.